My studio and my uh, gallery is set out in the middle of Upshur County on my farm. The process of making glass is uh, very interesting. It's very ancient. My first experience with glass was whenever I was uh, about 12 years old, I learned that you could bend glass tubing over a Bunsen burner. And I didn't really understand uh, what all could be done with glass, but whenever I got to be a teenager, I was looking for a, a, a job. I'd heard about the glass factories in Weston, and so uh, when summer rolled around, I went to the first glass factory that uh, was beside the road. I'd, I'd never actually driven the wet that far away from home before, and it's just the next town over. You know, you've heard the saying, the rest is history. Well, actually that was the very beginning of my career in glass. I walked into the factory, I seen what the people were doing. It was mesmerizing to see them draw the glass out of the furnace, to dip that glass out as though they were just dipping liquid gold out of the furnace. Uh, I lit the fire and literally, you might say, I never thought about anything else. I think it's been the curiosity and the need to be able to create that has driven me. I think one of the major um, periods of growth uh, that has continued to grow in, in my business and my life has been Tamarack. Whenever I juried into Tamarack, that was probably the great leap that brought my business to uh, be able to succeed and be sustained. It was something I could depend on. I think on one of the uh, uh, crowning uh, parts of Tamarack has been the, the Tamarack Foundation. Uh, it's uh, been a organization that has been able to reach a lot of people. Uh, it, it goes uh, parallel with the uh, mission that Tamarack has of serving the people and uh, it's been something that uh, that is there watching over you and ready to assist you and uh, it, it's, it's something that I uh, deeply appreciate. You know I have often thought how will people think of me in the future after my glass is is no longer being made. Uh, what will I leave behind? I've been quoted as saying, I'd just like to be a footnote in history. But somehow I think that things have already gone a little bit beyond that now. I want to be remembered for being able to have served the people, have entertained them, have educated them, I hope that the school children that have come here will say someday when they grow up, oh, I seen glass being blown. It was back in West Virginia, and Mr. Hinkle was the guy that blew the glass. So I hope that people will pick up a piece of my artwork someday, and they'll be happy that they, they own a piece of what I did. <laughs>